I'm gonna kill you. Oh, please, back off. I'm gonna kill oh. you good. Oh. Help! Don't worry, sir. I'm a freelance photographer for the New York Post. Thank God! No, please help! I am. I I'm taking pictures. The flash is gonna alert the police. Because, you know, police uh, respond to flashes and they come right over like a crime's being committed. It's like a bad signal for them. I'll be honest, that doesn't sound like good logic. Maybe you just tackle the guy. I'm gonna make you dead. Oh, please help me. I need to properly frame this up, you know, for the authorities. What if you just help me? Uh, you're too far away. This is the best I can do. My focus range. What if you move closer and then you'll be within helping range? I'm sure if I keep taking pictures, the police are gonna show right up. Please call 911 on your mobile. Oh, great idea. The subtle nuances of an Instagram photo will really get the authorities to show up. Oh, perfect. Which filter should I use? Hudson? Uh, Walden? Or uh, Early Bird? Oh, that's too washed out. Oh, man, that's good. Uh, what do you think? <laughs> oh! Oh, I better alert the authorities! with Brian Sack. Welcome back to Kids in the Kitchen. Today we're making a classroom favorite, chocolate chip Toll House mm. cookies. <laughs> Assisting me is Tamatha Baines-Logan, a local mom who's sharing her special recipe with us today. I'm sorry, did I mess up your name? It's probably Tabitha, right? Tamatha, actually, like the yoga pose. Okay. Now, for time's sake, we got all our ingredients measured out. Here's what we've got. Two cups all-purpose flour, one stick softened butter, three-quarter cup white sugar, three-quarter cup brown sugar, one teaspoon vanilla extract, two large eggs, two cups chocolate chips, one cup chopped nuts. Now, the first step is to take your flour and walk it over to our allergy zone to have it destroyed. We can't let any flour touch our cookie ingredients. Uh... Isn't flour an essential ingredient in cookies? Sure, in the dark ages. But we can't use flour because a classmate of my daughter's has a slight gluten allergy and could, according to his mom, die. So his mom's a doctor? Sure, all moms are. All right. Welcome back. Now, while you were gone, we melted our butter and got ready to mix it in with our eggs. But make sure the butter isn't too hot because you don't want those eggs to accidentally get cooked. Before you throw them both out in the allergy zone. Yucky, goodbye eggs and butter. Okay, wh why are we getting rid of these things? The PTA voted to remove eggs from all food choices in the school because of the cholesterol challenge. There are kids with high cholesterol? Brian, that's offensive. The term is cholesterol challenge. That's what the committee decided to call it. Okay, so why do we get rid of the butter? Because of cow gender rights, Brian. Or why should female cows give their milk while their male counterparts do nothing but sit around all day and chew their cud? Okay. Next, we are going to kick things up a little bit with vanilla. Bam! Let's not use sound effects that remind children of war, Brian. Uh Apparently the vanilla is no good because, uh, I don't know, Jaden's great uncle is an alcoholic and we don't want to start him or her early. We don't assign children genders anymore, Brian. And of course we threw out the nuts because, oh, you know about nut allergies. Even people who don't have them have them, That's right? That's right. That's right. Mix together your white and brown sugar, making sure to keep the brown sugar from clumping up as it likes to do. Keeping in mind we don't call it brown sugar anymore. We call it alternatively shaded sugar. Doesn't matter anyway because we can't use sugar of any color because some kid named Atticus and his sister Legend have ADD. Ooh, don't want to fuel that fire. <laughs> Finally, take your chocolate chips and bury them in a shallow grave or something. Don't use a nonstick baking sheet because God knows what kind of chemicals they used on it. And refrain from greasing a standard cooking sheet because grease is greasy. Pop the empty sheet into the oven for 12 minutes. And here's what you would have had about five to ten years ago before my generation made everything miserable. Ooh, I'll have one of those. Of course you will. 
Thanks for watching. Join us next week when we make environmentally friendly eco popsicles without using artificial sweeteners, polluting freezers, or wood sticks. Just water, kale, and the bile from a woodchuck. Oh, it's good. It was. Hi, I'm Jack Helmuth, and I'm the producer of the BS of A with Brian Sack. Two weeks ago, my wife and I had our second baby, a daughter named Eden. Being parents to Jackie, a 20-month-old, we were told that a new baby can cause young children to regress in order to get attention. Unfortunately, that has been the case. With Brian. It's hard for us as a new family to adjust, you know, to a 44-year-old colleague of my husband's terrorizing us. Okay, he just wants to make sure that he's still special. He's a co-worker of yours. He pooped on our bed. <gasps> yeah. I don't like her. She's stupid. Get the f out of my house. Betsy, it's okay. You can stay. We love him too. We most certainly do not. <gasps> Okay. Oh, uh, can I help you? Yeah, I'm here about the Craigslist ad. What ad? Uh, white lady baby for sale, $500 or best offer. What? Brian! Fortunately, things have really begun to settle down around here. No, they have not. We love all three of our babies equally. Also untrue. <laughs> I want milk. Yes. No. <laughs> Yes plus no equals maybe. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> hey, whatever happened to that cop? Wasn't he supposed to arrest Brian? Oh yeah, I think Brian said he took care of it. Hmm. Where's Jackie? That's weird. I don't know. Hey Jackie? Hey Jackie? Hey, people who try to sell their sisters online don't do well in prison, young man. You better. Yeah. Welcome back. I'm joined today by three experts to discuss the issues of the day that are of interest to me. You'll see my first guest in casting offices throughout the city. Please welcome struggling commercial actor Lance Baker. Lance Baker, not represented. What, uh, what are you doing? This just uh, sl is called slating. This is what you do at an say hello, give your name and your agency. This is when you're auditioning when for I'm a When I'm auditioning, commercial. yeah. And how's that going? Uh, not well. Oh. Not well. Sorry. Uh, you'll find my next guest in subdued casinos and quiet back rooms across the country. Please welcome professional low-stakes gambler Chet Hardlink. Hello. Brian, how are you? Good, Chet. How are you doing? Bit of a rough day at the tables this morning. Ooh, lost some money? Yeah, uh, about 875. 875 bucks. $8.75. Okay. I mean, I, all right. That's almost two Grand Slams at Denny's. Yes, that's true. Or, or a sandwich, maybe a hoagie, large. Man, I wish I was living that large. Well, and my final guest is from the third age of Middle Earth, where he resides happily in the Shire. Please welcome a hobbit, Dink Fanny Bottom. Good day. A pleasure to be here. I'm glad to have you here, Dink. And is Fanny Bottom, is that a prestigious surname in the Hobbit community? It's a family name. A lot of the names are based on your physical features. And okay. My Fanny is a bottom. As our... I, I haven't fought orcs, but I certainly fought a nasty frost this past fall. My precious is a turnip. So your adventures are pretty much contained around your home environment? Yes, tiny adventures. Not really a movie subject. Well, we'll see. We'll see. Indie might... film. Indie film about a, a hobbit with a turnip in his backyard. Yeah, exactly. Huh, interesting. They'll uh, make them about anything these days. Speaking of interesting... Uh, Kate Middleton, the princess of whatever over there in England, uh, pregnant. Why do we care about the monarchy? Didn't we break away from this thing? I don't know. There's like no copy, nothing to... No, th this is just you telling me your opinion, Lance. Uh, okay. Uh, what, um, monarchy, what do you... What mon do you monarchy, um, why do we care? Monarchy, why do we... Let me start over. Yeah. Uh, we care about the... Uh, uh, mm, okay, I, you know... I'll tell you one thing. Yes. Uh, if they have kids, they should get that, those kids in front of a camera now because show business is a tough racket to break into. You, you want to put your kids I in? I just think that like, Kate Middleton you got to make put, the connection well, Let me now. ask you this. First of all, Kate, she probably doesn't have to because presumably the kids are going to be loaded by, by virtue of being born into a monarchy. 
Uh, but secondly, do you really want your kids growing up to be actors? I just, you, it's like, you know. Have you it, met kids who act? And they're, they're, I have, and I, I envy them. They're very You lucky. envy them? Have yeah. you met their parents? They're, I just, yeah, I think, you know, that's, they're smart because, like, they got in. You know, I'm, I can't, hmm. I'm, I'm lucky. I had to bribe someone to come on your show today. Oh, Brian. That's a shame. Uh, yes, Chet, please. Brian, you want to know why people care yes. about this kid? Why do they care about the oh, Kate Middleton? Why do we care about a monarchy? Chips? The almighty dollar, my friend. The almighty dollar. The almighty dollar. How much is that That's chip you're holding? Cents. That's a 50 cent That's chip. Right. So, you're, so in your hand, you're holding? The almighty dollar. You got a dollar right there. That's right. Chip. That's and right. They, what are these? talk about this family. They're rich. They're yep. loaded. All yep. right? But is that why we blood. care? Is that why we broke away from the monarchy a couple hundred years ago? We, sure. we, you know, we don't have a monarchy. They, they don't even really have it. They have a symbolic monarchy. But why do we care about princess, whatever, a prince who, and you know, why? No, you never can tell when a, a king's going to return, come back, and go. It's hard. Just don't ignore it. There are turnips to tend to. You're giving me a headshot. If you want that, if um, you need it. Sure. I mean, we can do this after the taping. You need me to wear a tie. Can, don't need you. No, you don't have to do this. We can. Let's take care of this kind of networking stuff after the show, if sure. you don't mind. Because okay. I just. All right. Right now. Okay. All right. Uh, you know what? Speaking of commercials, oh, yeah. you, which you would like to do, yeah. I'm going to do one right now. Every week we take on what we like to call our under the table sponsor. That's a small business that gives our staff a little extra spending money while the business gets a commercial they have absolutely no creative control over. This week's sponsor is WJBloomerHealthy.com, purveyor of great tasting, clinically proven weight loss products. Perfect in case you're planning on a New Year's resolution to lose weight or in case there's a zombie apocalypse and you want to be light enough to flee. Check them out at WJBloomerHealthy.com. WJBloomberghealth.com. Uh, close. Well, WJBloomerhealthy.com. Yeah. We'll be right back. Damn it. You know, I do a lot of commercial acting. Really? Yeah, I, I, I should take you out. <laughs> Guys, you're my agents. You yes. have to fix this. I haven't worked in 12 years. <sighs> okay. Uh... Mara Wilson. Mm, that doesn't uh, ring a bell. It's not an actress's name. No, you know, it's it is. Like no. Human. You want IMDb? Yeah. Miracle on 34th Street remake. Mrs. Doubtfire. Oh, oh girl oh, with the yeah, list. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 They the called list. you the list, but yeah. I would miss me. Yes, I was the uh, list. Oh. And now I'm nothing. Oh. I need my career back. Acting is my one true passion in life. Okay, right. Maggie, we can do this. Mara. Mara, no problem. First thing we need to do is send you off to drug habilitation. Oh, I, I don't need rehab. I, I'm perfectly well adjusted. No, 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 no. Drug habilitation. We're going to get you hooked on coke, meth, pills, booze, you name it. But no, that's terrible. And no, why would anyone do that? Where would you even go to have that done? That's crazy. Kelsey Grammer Ranch. Boom. Here you go. Snort half that, put the rest on your dashboard, then drive through a school zone naked going 120 miles per hour. Career. Bingo. That's how Sally Field made it. When is the last time you did this? I mean, this is what actors do. Uh, speaking of which, now you're born again. No, Ooh. I, I'm Mara, and I'm Jewish. Ah, uh, boring. <laughs> Everyone's Jewish. You are now born again, and I'd like you to come out in an interview, and she'll say that uh, Robin Williams is going straight to hell. I like it. Yeah. No. Oh, God, no. He was like a father to me. We still keep in touch. I, I could never say Think that. of Patch Adams. Okay, well, maybe he's going to hell, but not because of my religious choices. Listen. Mara. Mara. Uh, I was, Crazy I was, religious I... is hot right now. Yeah. Big time. Think of uh, Angus T. Jones. Oh, yeah. Maybe she's a born-again Scientologist. Ooh. First one of your kind, very fresh. And no. speaking of that, Tom Cruise, currently they're casting for his new wife. For what movie? No movie. Pays great, and you're impregnated with the finest semen in the biz. I don't want to be a Scientologist, and I don't want to be Tom Cruise's wife. Ugh, now you sound like Katie Holmes. Jeez. Jeez. That was your big chance to knock Lindsay Lohan off of the tabloids. God rest her soul. Lindsay Lohan is not dead. In the time it took you to say that sentence, there is a 10% chance that she just drowned in her bathtub. Mm. Nate Silver says 11.7, .7, and he is very accurate. Very good. Very good. I don't care about being famous. I just, I want a good role. I want to practice my craft. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you are from the 80s. You are so cute. Uh, hello, Hollywood. It's me, a talented actress ready to go to work. <laughs> I don't think so. Listen, if you want to act, YouTube is that away. 
And listen, when you're super famous, the gigs are just going to come rolling in like a uh, host of X Factor. Nice. It's not acting. Oh, talk to uh, Chloe Kardashian. Yeah. All right. Here's a script. Boom. Hollywood script. Thank you. Okay. <clears throat> Open on your boyfriend. Have sex with your boyfriend. The end. A sex tape? You want me to make a sex tape? This is Megan Fox's next film. Fine. It's not for you. All right. Look, Maggie. Mara. Mara, do you trust us? You're going to have to trust us to do our thing. Are you going to trust us to do our thing? OK. Let's do our thing. You guys have got to be kidding me. I'm dead. I know. Think about what a great comeback story this is going to be. Good evening and welcome to There's Been Another Shooting, So Let's Talk About Guns for a Minute. I'm Brian Sack. There's been another shooting, so let's discuss. People there are, are going millions to continue and millions of responsible gun owners in this country who are exercising when the their Second, Second Amendment, Amendment was rights. Written, you had Weapons guns of any kind will be misused. There's no way to accurate. prevent that. Now we have, we have the right to protect weapons. ourselves we from see harm. Time and time and the media again focus that solely on these outrageous incidents, willfully life. ignore those occasions kind of when firearms are used to deter crime. So that we can you are more likely to be the victim of a violent crime in the United Kingdom where there are strict gun laws than you are in the United States. Gentlemen, thank you. We'll have you back next time to say the exact same thing. Good night. The preceding sketch was brought to you by WJBloomerHealthy.com. All right, buddy. It's just you and me. Everyone else is a... Who the hell are you? Hi, hi, hey, don't, don't christen me, man. Stay right there. I'm calling the cops. Uh, no, Brian. How do you know my name? Because I, I'm Santa Claus. Impossible. You don't believe in Santa Claus. Santa Claus is morbidly obese. You're not even curvy. That was before I started drinking these healthy meal shakes, I swear. I hope New York has a stand your ground law because you're about to go to a better place. No, 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 please believe me. Listen, it's wjbloomerhealthy.com. All right, there's a clinically proven weight loss program. Hey, wait, look. Oh my God, what is that? Some red velvet pool table cover? No, it's my pants. I lost weight faster than you can say. On Dancer, on Prancer, on Mahmoud. It's Vixen. <clears throat> well, I, I know. It, his real name's Mahmoud, okay? Michelle Bachman keeps trying to get him fired. I'm having a hard time buying this whole thing. I mean, first of all, Santa doesn't have a reindeer named Mahmoud, and he's Big Bo. No, please believe me. you got to believe me. What, believe that you shed all these pounds and inches from drinking shakes? Delicious shakes. Delicious shakes of vanilla, Dutch chocolate, Pina colada, wild berry. Cookies and cream? Yeah. With gin? No, no. So it's half a Christmas miracle then. Oh, look, just go to wjbloomerhealthy.com, all right? They have a community online and support help. Of elves, I suppose. No, not elves. They're unionized. I can barely get them to make a toy anymore. I don't know. I, I'm not buying this. First of all, I don't even have a chimney for you to come down. I don't need a chimney anymore. I got so skinny I can slide right under your door. Yeah. If you're that thin, I guess you won't be needing all these cookies and milk. That's scotch. The stuff you put on your breakfast cereal. Oh, well, you need help. You know what? I do believe. I do believe in wjbloomerhealthy.com. Then go sign up for your 14-day risk-free trial. You know, as an added Christmas gift, they give you a free bottle of their new effervescent energy drink, Liftoff. It will. Thank you, Santa. No problem. And I love you, Santa. Hey, I love you too, Brian. Why don't you go back to your room and drink yourself to sleep? Good night. Good night. Idiot. WJBloomerHealthy.com Visit them on the web to learn more about their delicious clinically proven weight loss program and sign up for their risk-free 14-day trial. And we are back with Lance, Chet, and Dink. Good day. Good day. Ted Nugent. Does that name, what, what kind of thoughts do you think when you, when you Nugent, Nugent is a delicious part of a candy bar. That's Nougat. Three Musketeers. That's Nougat. Nougat. You got it wrong. Ted Nugent. 
Three just, Musketeers. You know, if I could get just take a look at some copy. Yeah. Ted Nugent. We don't have really copy. Me. This is just us talking. This Ted is just Nugent. about Ted Nugent. Can't Music improvise. I know very well. Cat Scratch Fever. Right? Uh, frequently played songs. Some good songs. At uh, establishments that I frequent. Dink, you know Ted Nugent? Tedwin Nugent once invaded our, our Shire. Tedwin Nugent. Tedwin. Oh, Tedwin Nugent is not the same. I think it's the same guy. Oh, really? Sort of a hairy. Bow hunter? Hates the poor. Hey, has a bow? Yes, yes. No, I don't know if he, I mean, he wrote this article, uh, an op-ed in the Washington Post about um, uh, people on welfare shouldn't be allowed to vote. What do you make of that, Lance? Uh, well, I'm, I'm on an unemployment, so, because... So you'd probably be automatically just uh, opposed to that. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not too pro that. I, right. I just because, like, you know, I got fired from my, my catering job, uh -huh. which I was doing to try to... Myself. Are you on public assistance then? Y yeah. You are. Okay. So, so maybe this, this uh, you're really deep into this topic. Chet? It's account for public assistance on old uh, Chet's ledger as well. Oh, really? Yeah. So your gambling is, your low stakes gambling is actually, you're losing money? Uh, yes. I'm having sort of a rough year. I've lost $3,000 this $3,000? Okay. I gamble with a uh, government grant. You applied for it a number of years ago. I've really stretched it Is this it an artistic grant? What is this? How are you getting it? Uh, originally it was an artistic grant. An NEA grant, grant to, to help you gamble. You see, you... You sold this as an art project. I've seen. Yeah, yeah. And you lost, you squandered all that money. It's called gone. Despair. Despair. In the Shire, we have uh, sort of a, uh, a beet share program where uh, the, those with the plentiful harvest will share the beets with the poor. Uh -huh. So uh, I think Ted Nugent, I don't know if this word translates, is a bit of a dickhead. Yeah, and that's, that, word. that works in English. Uh, it's a very sense. popular Hobbit word for uh -huh. someone who's like being a total d He's a little out there. He's definitely a fringe character. Now, uh, here's my thing with Ted Nugent. Why are they, uh, he's not a political commentator. He's just kind right. of a, he's a musician. Yeah. Yet, he's getting published in the Washington Post. Well, that's how I feel about the, the monarchies. I mean, it's like, I guess he's loud enough. You know, and he gets, sure. you know, he's, uh, you know he's, he's out there, he's loud, he says outrageous things. He was going to kill himself if Obama was reelected. Yeah, I he haven't heard alone. the gunshot. Yeah. He's got a good agent, I yeah. bet, is the thing. He's got an good, agent that's getting him out there. And I need an agent. If I, so, we could just put all the cameras on me for two seconds just to really focus up. Like, just take a look. I'm just looking for representation. So just, just give me a call. Okay, Lance so Baker. So you don't even have an agent at, to send you out. At LanceBaker.com. Okay, Lance, Lance Baker. I, it's, it's, I haven't gotten the uh, domain yet. I haven't purchased that yet. So that's someone else's domain. Still, yeah, still building the site. But just go look for me on the internet, Lance Baker. How about we stop people who are on welfare from buying Ted Nugent albums? Well, they, I mean, they, I guess that ought to change his tune from Cat Scratch Fever to Uh Oh, I Have to Hunt for My Food. Sounds that's good to me. That's all the BS we have for this week. Please join us next week for another brand new show. And in the meantime, you can like us on Facebook, love us on Twitter, and when we start serving food and drinks, please rate us on Yelp. I'm Brian Sack in New York, the city that never sleeps because it's too busy telling you not to smoke or drink soda. Good night. Why don't you join our boy band? I don't. I don't. You would be, it would be good. Yeah, just like, we'll start I don't sing. Band. Lance, Lance Jet, Dink, Brian. Boom. Yeah, yeah I mean, I just know you don't have to sing to be in the ring. Mm -hmm. really good. I don't think I do. auto tune everything. Yeah, true. I'm gonna make you dead.